Hello everyone. In this session, let's see about the programming languages in PLC. So we are having five languages to program the PLC. So ladder logic, functional block diagram, structured text, sequential function chart and instruction list. So these are all the five languages and uh, in this course we are going to study about ladder logic. So let's see about ladder logic. So it is originally designed to represent construction and design of relay racks. So deployment of ladder diagram as the foundation stone of the new programming languages can be declared as practical and programming in this language resemble ladder with the vertical and horizontal lines. So ladder we will, we will be using to climb some heights right. So like that a programming structure will have two vertical lines and some horizontal lines. So there only we will be writing the program. So ladder language is the classic uh, uh, you know programming language when they have invented the PLC they have introduced the ladder logic and people started using ladder logic in 1970s itself right still it is used in most of the industries so yeah it is widely used to programming language in industry and before entering into the ladder, ladder logic we should know what are the components we are going to use in ladder logic so these are all the four things we should know the first one is power rails and rungs. So I have told you know two vertical lines and some horizontal lines. So these two vertical lines are called as rails. Right. So or it will call as power rails. It will be plus one side it will be plus this left side will be plus and this side will be minus. So this is called as power rails and the horizontal lines not only one line it, there will be multiple lines. I will show you in the software. So the horizontal lines are called as rungs. Okay. So power rails means it's a vertical lines and rung means it is a horizontal line. Right. And the next one is normally open contact. So this is one input and normally closed contact. This is another way to represent the input. So there are two types of input. This is called as normally open contact, normally closed contact. This will also I'll explain the working when it comes to the software. Right. And we are having output coil which is used to represent the output. It may be a lamp or it may be a motor like that. Fine. So these are all the components of ladder logic. So we need to know what are the do's and don'ts in ladder logic. So as I have told we will have one two horizontal lines as two vertical lines right. So in that this will be left side and this will be right side. So we should connect all our inputs to the left side only. Right. So in the right side we should end the rung with the coil. We should not end our ladder logic rung with input. It will be showing the error. Right. That is the first point. And second point the coil should be in the right side. So output should not be in the series. So in one rung there should be only one output. You cannot connect multiple outputs in the series. So remaining do's and don'ts I will explain in the software itself. So we will see the project creation in the next session. Until then bye.